Thank you for joining us today. My name is Christopher Watson, and I, along with Amy Sussman Stillman, uh, currently co direct SEED. And we're very happy to have this opportunity to celebrate our collective good work over the last 40 years with you today. Um, I was thinking about what I might say um, the other day, and this is kind of, for me, personally speaking, it's kind of like those actors who are um, called up to ac accept an Academy Award, and <laughs> they get up there and they're kind of dazed and confused looking sometimes, and I would imagine wonder how they ever got there, and that's kind of the way I feel today. Um, looking at SEED's incredible history of 40 years, supporting child development and supporting those who work in the field of early childhood is pretty amazing. I came to SEED in 1995 to work part-time on a project with Mary McAvoy. And now 18 years later, I'm still learning a lot finding new areas of our field to be challenged by and hopeful about. Uh, this experience of working at SEED has really been an eye and mind opener for me. And I just almost every day feel it's an incredible gift to be working with such passionate, incredible people. You all. Uh, some of you know that I had previously had a career as a dancer and choreographer before coming to SEED. In fact, I still teach dance classes to adults and have a company that performs, and sometimes I actually perform with the company myself. Um, but one of the articles that I use when I uh, teach a class in the Department of Educational Psychology is about partnerships between parents and professionals. It's titled The Dance of Partnership, uh, and you can imagine why that appealed to me. Uh, it's pretty much of a classic in the in the area of early childhood special education. And the article was written by a wonderful woman who I've gotten to know over the years, Janice Fialka, who is both a parent and a professional. In the article, Jan Janice talks about how teachers and parents learn to find ways to work together for the good of their children. And that's what we try to do it here at SEED. We are successful only when we can dance well with our partners the individuals, including many of you, from throughout the university and from organizations and communities across the state and beyond. SEED is a collective effort and shows what we can do when we collaborate. And as we've all come to learn, I hope, it's all about relationships. So thanks for the dances we've enjoyed together and hopefully the ones that we'll enjoy in future years. During my tenure at the University of Minnesota, I've had the extreme good fortune to work alongside brilliant early care and education professionals, policy leaders, and researchers. Of particular note are our past seed directors, Rich Weinberg, who's with us today, Mary McAvoy, and Scott McConnell, who is in Mongolia. Uh, brilliant, creative people who each in their own ways have shown us the path, walked the walk, and cleared the way for others to follow. David Johnson, our Senior Associate Dean of Research, who's also with us today, is just the type of leader you want to have. Smart and savvy and a person who allows you to become or discover the best person you can be. Likewise, since assuming her position as Dean of the College, Jean Kwam, along with her excellent team, has lent steady and crucial support to our center, and we're extremely appreciative of that. And I have to give credit to the growing numbers of incredible SEED staff, our affiliated faculty and consultants, and the undergrad and graduate students, all of whom contribute their talents to our work. Each one plays a truly significant role in SEED's work. Just yesterday, while talking about today's event, Amy and I discovered that as children, we were both really uh, avid readers of biographies. Uh, we were and still are fascinated by what drives people to greatness, by their childhoods and the course of their lives that they eventually take. 
What with the years of research, including the recent brain research and the development of effective professional practices, we now know so much about the best way to support young children's development. We know that young children, including babies, are both vulnerable and highly competent. I was in Colorado last week and I was at a bookstore and saw this greeting card that said, maybe you've seen it, uh, babies are such a nice way to start people. And I thought that said it all. Many of you and we, for sure, are in this for good, working to support that early competence, foster its growth, and protect the vulnerable. We look forward to continuing our collaborative work with you well into the future. Thank you again.